I mean, even in the in the Disney film in Pinocchio, it's unbelievable the the pub scene. The, what are you talking about? The new one? No, the old one. Yeah, in Pinocchio. Isn't I think there a new. I think there's a new Pinocchio. That's there is. Like Tom Hanks is in it. But th- yeah, it became in the public domain, so anybody could make a Pinocchio movie now. Oh, oh how creepy! Oh, that is creepy. Is so I'm when did the first Pinocchio come out? <laughs> oh my God, it was all, probably like the fucking forties. Okay, or look up the pub scene. The the pub scene in Pinocchio, and you'll remember this when you saw it as a kid. It was so, it gave you a creepy feeling in your belly. Let's see it. Pub scene in Pinocchio. He talks about yeah bringing the boys to Pleasure Island, and then he starts whispering what happens to the boys, and the fox freaks out. He's like, <gasps> but, but, and he goes, no, 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 no. They don't come back as boys. <laughs> Watch it. Ooh. Right in your face. Ooh. When do you think they started doing stuff like that? Dude. He goes, we steal stupid oh, little boys. Oh, it's the pub scene. Uh, the tavern or the pub, yeah, yeah. And, you know these guys are all hopped up. They're like, oh, you know, we're, we're yes. making it. We're be- yeah, this is it. This is it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and he still thinks we're his friends. Big <laughs> ugly fat fucker just watching it. Yeah. And Strabodly paid us. This doesn't sound right. Plenty. Yeah, this is right. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Yep. That shows you how low honest John will. That's not right. Yeah, it is. This audio is fucked up. The audio is weird, but that. I that think is definitely the, the audio is weird, but like, just let it play out for a second. Okay. Stupid. Right, Giddy? <laughs> Maybe that's how they avoid copyright. So, uh, Coachman? Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely different audio. What is your proposition? Well. Yeah, de- yeah, definitely that's different. The, yeah, definitely that's different not the audio. That's not different how weird. Audio. Do you think that's to avoid copyright protection I on think YouTube? I fucking around is all. Oh, like someone showing that they could do voiceover? Maybe. I'm yeah. really good at it. Could be right. This is my audition reel. It's like he's my fucking audition. Oh, they're playing it from. IPad. He's an playing iPad. it from an iPad. I wonder why. It's... Here we go. What's your reaction? Pleasure Island? But the law, suppose they... No, no, there's no risk. There's, there's no risk. As boys! <laughs> now, I've got a coat so leaving at midnight. We'll be at the crossroads. And no double crossing. Loose? Jesus Christ. What is that? It's so creepy because like what value are boys to him? That's the thing. It's like they're going to kidnap these boys, but why? And they're not going to kill him. Oh, Jesus no, Christ. No, no, no. You want to make real money. And the line before it, like, we'll stoop to 
anything for this much. And that's what people don't understand. That power will bring the pure demonic devil out of you if that's who your God is. And this fucker was like, she's like, you want to make a real man? We steal boys, stupid little boys. We bring them to Pleasure Island. And then you see the fuck, he goes, oh, Pleasure Island? So I mean, the, must... and he goes, no, 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 they don't come back as little boys. <laughs> so you got to think, in 1940, when they're writing this, the guys that are writing this, they must have probably heard stories about children getting sex trafficked. They must have heard those stories because we've heard those stories. Yes. We've heard those stories as adults. Yes. Where there was always stories about some weird government in Italy, was it say, where the original story was written, the donkey is a symbol of stupidity. The moral behind Pleasure Island uh, is that little boys who scoff at education and moral codes set forth by their parents, preachers, and authority figures will engage in jackass behavior instead such as fighting vandalism underage drinking and often destined to grow up to become men who have no option to make a living except through back breaking manual labor and there are plenty of people in the world such as the coachman who will take advantage of that um i think maybe there's a little more going there's on there <laughs> <laughs> like your interpretation of that that's such a shallow interpretation <laughs> of them kidnapping boys and saying they're not come, they don't come back as boys. We're just trying to help their education. And then he's evil. So, like, what value would he have for the? What's the value of those boys if they're, you're not sexualizing them? Like, it seems like that's a very specific possibility that's happening. Just very incredible that no one talks about that.